like, listen, you got to surrender. And here is the thing that we have to understand. Surrender is not a dirty word, right? We're used to watching old war movies and when your enemy's coming at you and, you know, he said, hey, come up with your hand, surrender. That's a dangerous thing because you're trying to harm you. But when God says, hey, Anika, come out with your hands up, he's like, no, 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 I'm not trying to harm you. I'm trying to elevate you. You don't understand that your surrender is bringing elevation. I'm not like the bad guys in the movie that's looking to kill you when you throw your hands up. I'm the good guy here. When you throw your hands up in surrender, to me that is when I am able to elevate you that is when I am able to promote you and the greatest example of that is we see even Jesus this tug of war right in the garden of Gethsemane and he finally says not my will God but your will be done and then we read in Philippians 2 when Jesus went to the cross he died the scripture goes on to say in Philippians 2 5 through 11 he humbled himself to the point of death and then it goes on to say that God elevated after he rose elevated him to the place of highest honor right so this surrender this submission thing as tyrone has pointed out to us before even on our marriage talk that surrender brings elevation stop looking at it as a bad thing and i will even say i can look back on some serious seasons of barrenness in my life and i Quite honestly, I'm still going through some right now. And it's been years and years and years. But I can say, God, I thank you because it's birthing surrender in me. And the more I learn to say yes to you, God, I'm seeing that you're saying a yes to me, 